calculus students. I have attached this AP exam day checklist on Google Classroom and you should print it and you should go through it. So um, calculus is the first exam you'll take. I wanna make sure your, de your devices are good, your browser is good, everything is good for you to be okay on that day. Please print this list and work your way through it. I wanna mention just a couple of things. <clears throat> Um, your exam is, of course, next Tuesday on the 12th, and the time listed that it starts is 1 p.m. Austin time. However, you have to actually start at 12.30 p.m. Austin time. You should get in 30 minutes early. I wish they listed the time then, but know that that's the way it's listed. So your exam is at 12.30 p.m. next Tuesday, Austin time. So, um, Daniel, May, June, you need to um, figure out what time that is. Be really careful about that. I know you're used to um, figuring that out since you're participating in class in Austin and um, you're elsewhere, but be really careful about the time. Okay, so right here, write down that time, make sure you know when it's going to start, and then you have to be there 30 minutes before it says it's going to start. Okay. Um, you need to go, you need to practice the exam demo. Please do that. You need to make certain that your device and your browser will be able to access the exam. There are some really interesting um, kind of things that could cause glitches. For example, if you happen to have Grammarly on your computer, that would cause you a problem um, with the exam. So that's just, Want a single for instance, so you've got to test this with your devices. Okay, um, this says if you're handwriting your exam, you've prepared the pages. So you can submit up to five pages for each question, so a total of 10 pages for your exam. So you should prepare those pages. You need to use lined white eight and a half by 11 inch paper, standard notebook paper, lined white paper. You should go ahead and get 10 sheets of paper, label at the top everything that you need, which is your APID number, your initials, and, um, and the page number. Go ahead and get that ready before. Um, <clears throat> okay, I wanted to mention that. Um, I really want you to read the whole list, okay? I'm just pointing out just a few things. Um, actually, let me back up. Um, if you're going to not handwrite your exam, but instead you're going to be typing your exam, you need to actually practice typing math type, okay? So um, there is a place where you can do that. Um, I'll, I'll write that down here in just a minute and write that down for you. So you would want to go and practice that. In fact, you might want to go and practice it and see if that would make a difference for where you, how you decided to submit your, um, your answers. Okay, a couple of things. On, um, actually, day of, sorry, I wrote down a list, but, um, you want to um, get your house prepared and people in your house prepared. So you want to ask others to not, not disturb you and also not to be on their devices if possible so that bandwidth isn't a problem, um, internet access isn't a problem. Um, you should also set your phone, two things that I can think of if you're using your phone, set your phone to do not disturb, a do not disturb mode, so you're not getting um, texts or even uh, buzzing with text. And the other thing is, if you are accessing the questions on your phone, you don't want it to turn off, so you can set it where it will stay on for that entire period of time. So you want to figure out how to do that um, and remember to do that. Um, when you're taking the test, there will be a timer in the bottom corner it doesn't make any noise, any sound. So you've got to pay attention to it. You might want to set an additional timer if you think you're not going to be paying good enough attention to it. 
So the timer actually includes the time for submitting your answers. So you're watching that countdown. That is not the full, that is not the time that you have to work on it. It's the time you have to work on it and submit your answers. The intent is that you use the last five minutes to do that. Probably won't take five minutes. If you are right at the very end and still writing something, you can go a little bit into that time. If you finish early, what you'll want to do is you'll want to take that time, read the question, read your answer, make sure you've answered the full the question asked, okay? Um, use that whole time until it says the five minutes um, remaining and then you'll want to submit your answers. Um, you want to practice submitting your answers. You'll know how long it takes, and um, but you don't want to get into trouble with that, that time. So if there's an issue while you're taking the test, you have 48 hours to request a retest. You basically submit something, you make your case. There are lots of reasons why you might could retest, but not submitting your answer in time is not one of them. So you've got to really be watching the time or have another timer going. I don't want you to be nervous about the time because there is plenty of time for you to answer the questions, but you have to be paying attention to the time. Okay. Um, once again, I want you to print the checklist or open it. I'll tell you why it's helpful to print this, uh, this um, during, during the exam information. It tells you um, what to do. If you accidentally close your browser, it tells you what to do. If you can't rejoin your um, exam, it tells you what to do. So have this available, but have read through it well before, maybe making some notes about things that you want to make certain and remember. Okay, I'm going to um, give you this, point you to this place where you can go and practice with a math type. So if your um, handwriting isn't good, you might want to try, I would say at least try this. Um, but print the checklist, go through it, and, um, and be, be ready because you're in a good way to do well on this. Okay, I'm going to share, I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, so at collegeboard.org, AP exam day docs, there's a place there where you can practice with the um, math editor. Okay, other good information here. Um, please print your checklist, pay attention to it. I'm going to ask you what device you've decided to use and um, make sure you've thought about that and practice with it. Um, Again, if um, you didn't go to one of Mrs. Smith's sessions yesterday, then, or um, I don't know when you're seeing this. So two, if you didn't go on Tuesday, then you'll have opportunity to go again on Thursday. You really want to take seriously being ready. It, they have made it fairly easy, but you don't want to come up against a glitch that's going to take time away from your testing time. I will see you in Zoom. Um, I am so pleased with what you've done. You're in a good way. Lots of you are going to get college credit. Goodbye.